Hey everybody, Frank Money Home, MMA to the Max. We are here at the American Top Team headquarters here in Coconut Creek. Uh, we're with the one and only Jessica Jag Aguilar for her up and coming fight March 28th on Spike TV for Bellator. Jessica, how are you? I'm doing great, Frank. Thank you Talk again. Talk to us about your fight coming up. How are you feeling? Who are you going to fight and what do you predict? Well, um, I will be fighting March 28th on Bellator 94 against Patricia Vodonik. I fought her last year, uh, February of last year. Uh, she's, you know, a great athlete and, and always coming to, to fight. So Absolutely. it's going to be an exciting fight, you know. I want to take it down and and, uh, and and get a submission in the first round. So, uh, you know, you guys have to tune in and watch. Okay. okay. Spike TV. Spike TV. We got it. Well, we'll definitely be there and we'll definitely uh, be present in the fight. It's in Tampa. Um, so all those Florida, you know, MMA fans that are out there in Tampa, please support Jessica. She's an amazing fighter, as you guys know. Um, since you fought her last time, um, the results were probably, what were the results last time when you fought her? It was a decision. It was a decision? Okay, so what are you going to do differently now in order to, to not make that happen? I'm going to take her down, not let her come up and submit her. Okay. Do you That's know much about her? I mean, I know you fought already, but do you think she's more of a ground person than a, than a stand up or I think she I know, I think she has like a, a stand up too, you know, she likes to stand and brawl. Um, but she does have some 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 ground as well. So, you know, I'm sure a whole year's gone by and you know, okay. there's a lot of things you can learn within that year, so it's gonna be exciting and you know, ready to uh, I'm happy that she took the fight and, and um, I'm ready to, uh, to fight again. Speaking that a year has gone by, what have you learned? Have you changed in a year? Your techniques? Or? You know, you change a lot in a year. Um, you know, MMA is always growing. There's always something to learn. So, I mean, you know, I'm always learning. Every day I learn something new, whether it be a, a right, you know, a right cross or uh, something on the ground or wrestling. So, I mean, you know, you'll see uh, a little bit of, of what I've learned. Awesome. Awesome. March 28. Now, you've been fighting for a long time. This is not... Uh, you were just born yesterday, but uh, how long have you been fighting? I've actually been fighting since February of 06, so seven oh, years six. now. Wow, and, and why do you think now, um, I'm sure you see it on the internet and with UFC now, Ronda Rousey, and all this it's stuff amazing. with what's going on with the MMA, female MMA. You've been doing this since 06. It's 2013, and finally now we feel that, that female MMA has gotten their spotlight. Why do you think it's taken so long? Well, you know, I think it, I mean the sport is still. I think it's it's obviously, obviously it's more mainstream, but I think it's um, it's like everything. It takes time, and I say that from the beginning. You know, I knew this was going to happen. Dana White was going to see an opportunity, and uh, you know, and yeah. he's going to you know give us the opportunity to showcase our skills as well as the men. But it's like any new sport. It takes a long time Absolutely. for it to, to grow. So you know, we're growing. We're becoming now our own sport, and that's. It's amazing. It's amazing to see how, how far the ladies have come. Absolutely. Now you you fought in Bellator. You fought in some of the local shows as well. Um, any chances of you fighting at UFC? Do you do you, do you want to fight in UFC? Or are you happy here at Bellator? Well, I am. Um, obviously, I'm happy here. And, okay. You know, in Bellator. I'm, you know, grateful for their opportunity, and that's Absolutely. you know they're taking great care of me. But the dream is UFC. That's you know. Um, We'll, we'll just have to see if they put, you know, the 115 division and then see, you know, what's going on with my contract from Bellator. You know, that's a possibility in the future. Where can somebody reach you if they wanted to uh, to talk to you or get some classes? I mean, do you give out classes Absolutely, still? Absolutely, yes. So yes. you're still an MMA fighter and you still... Yes, you, know, you know, I'm still an athlete and I still struggle, so, you know, we're still always in... And awesome. looking for, for instructions and, and even I learned from doing that. Okay. I learned from giving class. So um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Jag ATT. Um, my Facebook is Jag Just Aguilar, okay. Jag Smiles. Um, and uh, you can also, if you want to, you know, book any privates or appearances or anything like that, um, you can email me at Jag at JustGaguilar.com. So your website is JustGaguilar.com. Jag at JustGaguilar.com. What's your website? Your complete website? Yes, JustGaguilar. Awesome. Correct. Awesome. And you're here training at the at American Top Team headquarters here in Coconut Creek. That's right. Before I know we were stopping you from that, from, okay. that from that training, but. Uh, but who do you want to shout out? Anybody in here that, that's been helping you train for this fight specifically? You know, my entire team. I mean, American Top Team has been, you know, my family. Um, obviously, you know, all of the coaches have been very supportive with me and since day one. And, you know, I appreciate everything they've done for me. So, 
my whole family from the Oregon Tom team. Awesome. I don't want to, you know, awesome. give a few names and then leave out another. So Absolutely. my whole team, my whole ATT family. Um, what about any sponsors? And, and, and sponsors? you know, I want to thank uh, obviously Boba Tanning and um, On It. Thank my management paradigm. I want to thank um, Paula, aka oh. Zena, awesome. and uh, Pro Pro Fight, Pro Fight Sports yes. for the support they've given me. And you know, also shout out to uh, my my uh, sweetheart and heroes family down in New York. It's awesome. an anti-bullying organization that I'm part of, so they've been helping me out as well. And you know, I want to shout out to them. If I missed any. Well, we'll get okay. you. They'll yes. definitely get you. We'll get you on the next yes. one. For yes, sure, yes, for yes. Sure. But I thank all the fans and everyone for their support, their continued support. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, check out Jessica Aguilar. She's fighting March 28th. You can catch her on Spike TV. She's fighting on Bellator in Tampa. If you guys can truly get out there, get out there, see her fight live, give her support. We will be there to make sure we get them support there as well. Jessica, thank you thank one you more so time. Much, Frank. We greatly appreciate thank it. You so Frank Monihon, Jessica Aguilar. We'll see you at the fights. Recording. Hey everybody, Frank Money Home. Fighter from one one. Waiting for everybody to pass me by. <laughs> Just to uh, spend a second. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. You're on. Three. Hey everybody. Hey everybody, Frank Money Home, MMA to the max. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's wait till he's done. I was gonna say.